Hello, hello, I'm Hector, and I don't want to feel like this is rehearsed because I've been trying to vocalize these thoughts for a while and they keep me up at night and I have no no way of just approaching this, like no real certain, so I just say it. I've been kept up by this question, why is this world so absurd? And I, of course, I'm not a supreme being knowing all everything at all times. I'm just a limited person with limited information. But I see these patterns and they're very obvious to me and probably you have seen them too. The argument of cop versus activists or black people or cop versus anti-cops or cop watchers against cop and, and so on and so forth. The way that it, ha it has been framed as an argument boxed in where two people two competing camps are fighting for supremacy of what the truth may be but really let's put that aside or really think about it. because I think both sides have legitimate arguments in some form there should be security services that are that guarantee security to their customers but I believe it should be on a voluntarily on a voluntary basis you should subscribe to that you can subscribe to that service and pay for it on your own free will you shouldn't be taxed because it's theft and you know police agencies have been used as an excuse to pick up the bottom line to make money on the other side cops are backed to the wall because they either have a family need jobs and etc there are many reasons to do it but when it comes to events or incidents of police brutality it really really is none of that really matters it's all individual individual choice the perception of reality what will you do what will you choose to do and overwhelmingly we are focusing mostly on the negative and it's true there I mean the statistics are horrendous why you're more than likely to be killed by a cop than a terrorist that's a fact okay that's a that, that fact is just it floods our mind and it doesn't mean anything because we're I'm constantly scrolling through all these incidents of police brutality and I lose my humanity because I just think damn what are people thinking but I am people I am a person as well it's a reflection of me isn't is it not I'm not living in this bubble by myself on the other side I'm looking at activists who are well-meaning and want to change things but their tactics are counterproductive because they're driven by rebellion for rebellion's sake that is improper it is very much so because in good intentions aside, it's the end result that matters. You want to be effective and change things. Activism. I say awareness, change, and transformation. Other people say it too. But to me, I really take it personal. Because awareness, you have to be aware of how limited you are, of, your limit, of all your limitations, and how much you can do. And in that realization, you can change mistakes or your limitations and overcome them and transform whether you become a butterfly or a moth there are different paths you can take there are a thousand ways to slice a cake rhymes aside what's really important here is to realize that police officers are people too individuals trapped in their uniform trapped in their job don't forget that they're also in critical positions we cannot oppose them in a blue versus red dialectic where we're in this perpetual cycle of well I'm right and you're wrong and I'm morally righteous and I have the moral high ground think about it if we are diplomatic and we can really reason with these with these individuals they're in critical situations where they can really decide are they gonna enact anti-liberty policies on the street level Probably not if we change their perception. But also, it comes with a very good proviso. Some of them are not going to be very kind to you, of course. Think outside the box here. There are still going to be drones out there who want to be knee jerk authoritarians and want to repress your liberty. That is something very real. We should not ignore that. That's why we should act consciously of that very fact. How can we practice our freedoms? How can we be effective? What is freedom, really? 
my recommendation to people is to study history and philosophy. Why? Because this has happened before and it will happen again. So we must learn from the past so we can correct their, the mistakes. And there are great movements also, activist movements in the past that we can learn a lot from. There are a lot of other solutions, a lot of other ways. But one thing that I have observed is that humanity tends to be very habitual adapts to a lot of things. We have been conditioned to accept the corporate establishment, the, the anti-humanity. Really, if you really think about it, I mean, uh, are, are we being human? Are we just living just to live? Just for fleeting passions? And if so, then why, do, why is liberty so important? If, if, if survival is the only thing we're trying to do. There's bigger things than just surviving. There has to be a meaning to it. And these thoughts have kept me up at night because there's a lot of things that well-meaning people act on and destroy themselves because of their counterproductive tactics. There is no time to waste anymore. <clears throat> the time for that is past. <clears throat> As for me, I'm still embarked on a journey to find myself, to really see who I am. And in that I think I can change the world, my world. Those are my late night thoughts for, for this restless night. I wish you the best, but please leave me your comments and your opinions. What do you think? Thank you very much. This is Hector Cubillos from politicalscams.me. See you later.